Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Peter Wilson speaking to you from the Centre Court at Wimbledon on this, the final day of the 1953 Championships. Well, yesterday we saw Vexatious win the men's singles, and his name, of course, went on the Roll of Honour. But today we're going to see the ladies' final, and it won't be a new name on that Roll of Honour today because the finalists are Maureen Connolly, who won it last year, and she plays Doris Hart, her fellow American, who won it the year before. And they're being absolutely, as usual, surrounded by cameramen. And here is the champion, little Mo Connolly, serving first. And she wins the first point when Doris Hart puts it into the doubles court. Doris Hart, soon into the rhythm of her game. She's a veteran of the courts of the world, but it must be, even for her, a pretty grim experience to come up against this phenomenal little battler. Nice forehand. And another. Yes, outright winner there. And now let's take a, a close look at this game, a game which has already reached the height of women's lawn tennis. They're both playing excellent stuff. One all, little Mo serving 1540 down at the moment. Doris Hart every now and then trying to slow it up by floating the ball down the middle of the court. Both stop shotting each other well. Nice lob right on the baseline, and here she comes for the kill. She didn't... No. She didn't kill it, but Miss Hart's return was out. Just out. Wonderful length by both of them. Accuracy of this is amazing. Look at that backhand. Bang! Oh, superb stuff. Both girls are playing right on the peak of their form. Deuce. Dream of a return service by Doris Hart. Now that one's over the baseline, Deuce. Sliced return there, net cord. Wonderfully angled shot there. Vantage to Little Mo. This is probably as good a women's singles final as we've seen since the war. One just wonders how long they can last at this pace. Here yes, sets out. 2-1 to Little Mo. Well, Miss Hart serving from the far end is 5-6 down. She did a magnificent pull-up from 3-5 down to make it 5-all. And she's playing beautifully. A glorious shot to the sidelines there, right on the line, making it 30-all. But she's having to fight every inch of the way against this little blonde tigress. Forty thirty to Miss Hart. And that makes it 
six all, and it's a battle. And now Miss Connolly has got to set point. She's leading seven six and forty love up against her opponent's service. Love, but it looks too far. Yes, that's one of them gone. Fifteen forty now. Heart serving, 15.40. Nice backhand. Not so flat as the other girls, though. Beautiful raking forehand. And another. But Mo's there. I look out for this backhand. No, she netted it. 30.40. A grand scrap, this is. Second service of Doris Hart, who's been worrying little Mo, it kicks a lot. Uh oh, that's out. First set to Miss Connolly, 8 6 in just over half an hour. Well, Miss Hart, serving from this end, is playing magnificently. She fought back after being 1 3 down and broke Little Mo's service to level it at 3-all, and now the score is 4-3 against her. Little Mo taking service, advantage against her. Fairly thrashing the ball. And she was out drop shot it there. 4-all. Well, this tremendous match has now been going on an hour, and I can only go back 24 Wimbledons, so I can't say for sure, but it's the best women's single I've ever seen. Nothing given away, and Mel having to run more than she's run, I should think, for two years. Doris Hart has opened up the court beautifully with those fluent, graceful strokes of hers. She's 4-5 down, and it's 15 all now. Great recovery lob to within two feet of the baseline. Slice. She's tried every shot in the game, chopping and slicing away there, trying to break up the rhythm of Miss Connolly's driving, and she did. 30-15. Tremendous excitement. Women's singles are often so flat, but this is a real classic. Forty fifteen to Miss Hart. Still fighting back. Set down and four five down, but she's still very much in the hunt. Second service. Got it back, but I, now it's out into the doubles court. You can feel the tension here. It's absolutely dead silent. People don't like to clap even for fear to disturb the players. Slice again. And a flat one, mixing her game up. Beautiful recovery by Miss Connolly. Oh, what a good shot. What a beauty. And is Miss Connolly glad? I've never seen her so tired in my life. She really is. She hasn't got a lot left. Deuce, 4-5. Beautiful ace down the service line, down the center line. Oh. 
lovely drop shot. Cormeau got it back, but she pushed it out over the baseline, and that's five all. Lovely drop shot. Cormeau got it back, but she pushed it out over the baseline, and that's five all. Now, Doris Hart is trailing 5-6 and Love 30, but, as I say, still keeping it going, and how. Tormo flogging away, and a beautiful drop there. Yes. Lovely drop shot. Cormeau got it back, but she pushed it out over the baseline, and that's five all. Now, Doris Hart is trailing 5-6 and Love 30, but, as I say, still keeping it going, and how. Cormeau flogging away. And a beautiful drop there. Yes, three match points now. Love 40. And now, perhaps we're just getting a preview of the winner and still champion. Yes, it was out. And a squeak of delight. And she's done it. The little kid's done it. And from the killer of the centre court, she becomes the giggly schoolgirl still, because she's still only 18. And great, no, no praise can be too much for Miss Hart, who helped to make that really one of the memorable games of all time in women's tennis. And with the scoreboard showing 8675 in Miss Connolly's favour, here they come. And now, this is a very happy moment for the lady with me because she's done what we hoped she would do after last year. She's come back and defended her title. How does it feel? Oh, it feels wonderful again, believe me. Back here in England.